A multi-million dollar waste management investment is on hold because of the lack of state government action on the landfill levy. One of Australia's biggest waste companies says it won't proceed with a state-of-the-art recycling plant until Victoria stops making it cheap to simply dump rubbish. This windswept site about an hour out of Melbourne has been earmarked for one of the nation's most advanced recycling plants. All it requires is a change in government policy. We believe that it's going to occur at some stage. Um, we're surprised that it's taken so long. The Cedar Company's waiting for the state government to increase the cost of putting rubbish into landfill. It operates landfill sites and says the dumping rate's too low compared to the cost of sending waste to a recycler. You just can't compete when you want to build a facility that can do what the community wants it to do and also what we want to do. Um, at $9, it's just too low. New South Wales has increased some of its landfill rates to almost $60 a tonne and now CETA is recycling 134,000 tonnes of Sydney's council waste. It's ready to spend $75 million building something bigger in Victoria and says it's not alone. All the big players who have, uh, have technologies available want to invest in this state. They want to build a facility. Environment Victoria and companies such as CETA have lobbied to increase the levy. We've been putting very strongly to the state government that an increase in landfill levy will lead to an increase in jobs and clean green jobs going to the future. The government says it wants to cut down on landfill and increase recycling rates. It's just looking at the best way to do it. And they also do not want to pass on costs to our citizens in a way that disadvantages households' pockets uh, at a time when you may not be certain about the investment stream. The government says it won't hurt to take a bit longer to make a decision. Helen Brown, ABC News.